Good morning and welcome to St John the Baptist Church at Wittersham. We welcome you to our service today and suggest that you may like a little piece of bread and some wine so that you can join in the communion that Christ invites us to. The fourth Sunday of Lent is Refreshment Sunday and it was allowed as a day of relief for the rigour of Lent. The Feast of the Annunciation almost always falls in Lent. These breaks from austerity are the background to the modern observance of Mothering Sunday on this fourth Sunday of Lent. But let us keep a moment of silence as we remember whose presence we are in, are in at this time. And now we hear our first hymn, Tell Out My Soul, the Song of Mary. Praise God who loves us, praise God who cares for us. We light this candle. We rem are reminded that the love of God is like the light in our darkness and particularly at this time when uh, Covid has hit us so hard and it's sometimes difficult for people to think on Mothering Sunday. But we praise God that we are here, we're able to share with you. And so we light our candle to lighten our darkness. We praise you, our God, for all mothers who have loved and laughed and laboured as they cared for their children. We praise you, our God, for all mothers who have wept in sorrow and joy for their children. We praise you, our God, for Jesus, born of a woman and nurtured in her love, and for Mary, a reminder of your patient, waiting love. So let us call to mind our sin, our failure to value the love of others, and our failure to love as Christ has loved us. Your love gives us life from the moment of conception. We fail to live as your children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, 
have mercy. You call us to do good, and then we seek our own good. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You hear us when we cry for help, but we ignore the cries of others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we hear the collect, the prayer of today. Merciful Lord, you know our struggle to serve you when sin spoils our lives and overshadows our hearts. Come to our aid and turn us back to you again. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we hear our hymn, Jesus Good Above All Other. Reading. Hear the Gospel of our Lord according to Luke. The child's father and mother marvelled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. As children of a loving God who always listens to our cries, let us pray to our Father in heaven. Loving God, you have given us the right to be called children of God. Help us to show your love in our homes, that there may be places of love, security and truth. Loving God, Jesus, your son was born into the family of Mary and Joseph. Bless all parents and all who care for children. Strengthen those families living under stress. And may your love be known where no human love is found. 
Loving God, we thank you for the family of the church. We pray that all may find in her their true home, that the lonely, the marginalised, the rejected may be welcomed and loved in the name of Jesus. Loving God, as we see the brokenness of our world, we pray for healing among the nations, for food where there is hunger, for freedom where there is oppression, for joy where there is pain, that your love may bring peace to all your children. And so we pray for mothers. Praise God who loves us. Praise God who cares. For the care of mothers, thanks be to God. For their patience when tested, thanks be to God. For their love when tired, thanks be to God. For their hope when despairing, thanks be to God. For their service without limit, thanks be to God. And now we come to the time of the peace. Through the prophet Isaiah, God says, As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And now please share a sign of peace with those who are with you at home at this time. We now have our offertory hymn for the beauty of the earth. sung by Roger and Jane. Thank you. 
The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is always right to give you thanks. God our Creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong, you made us and the whole universe and filled your world with life. You sent your Son to live among us. Jesus our Saviour, Mary's child, he suffered on the cross, he died to save us from our sins, he rose in glory from the dead. You send your spirit to bring new life to the world and clothe us with power from on high. And so we join the angels to celebrate and say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Father, on the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He took the bread and thanked you. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. Pour your Spirit on us that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth and share the good news of Jesus. 
as we wait for his coming in glory. For honour and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy upon us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy upon us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Where possible and in the place where we are, we eat a piece of bread and drink a sip of wine as a symbol of the communion to which Christ has invited all of us. Now we share in the First Communion Prayer. Loving God, as a mother feeds her children at the breast, you feed us in this sacrament with the food and drink of eternal life. Help us who have tasted your goodness to grow in grace within the household of faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may God, who gave birth to all creation, bless us. May God, who became incarnate by an earthly mother, bless us. May God, who broods as a mother over her children, bless her. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, in the name of Christ. Amen.